In the Third Crusade, I have seen acts of valor and fervor that have reaffirmed my faith in the cross. Within a sea of foes, we stood alone against several times our number. The Saracens came united, ready to ensue the work of good, holy men in these lands. A year of survival led to several massacres, with Saladin the Great earning his nom de guerre several times over. I actually respect the man for his talents, but seeing him bleed our people at Masayef has pushed me to pray for his immediate demise. In time, the Crusaders rallied and defeated Saladin. Our fervor and victories began to grow rapidly. However, the venerable Pope Lucius passed on, and with him, the Crusades' fervor. Though that war failed in its aim to reclaim Syria, it has bludgeoned our enemies, and Jerusalem continues to stand. A few years later, a strange order of assassins led by a Grand Master invaded Antioch. King Baldwin, though a pious, good man, is no military leader, and we were unable to stop the likes of the Grand Master and a man called Altair. Despite their victory to the north, we repelled other invaders to the south. Count Guy and I reconciled our differences under the banner of Christ and defeated them together. We have no love for each other. But this shows what our unity can do. And so we do return to our story here. Duke Billion, the Sword of Justice of Ascalon. It's incredible what type of events have taken place around us. There are many kings and emperors who are doing well. Some, not as well. And here we are right now, defending the King of Jerusalem. Normally he dies at a very young age. He's currently 39, he's been around for a minute. He's like, God's vengeance won't stop me here. Duke Balian is older now, but look at how many he's killed. Six men total. One, of course, being a brother of his from a long time ago. All of our siblings are dead. We had a few out there. Now, one thing that we've not done that I want to do, I want to check on my dynasty tree. So, I've got my many daughters around me. Up here, we've got my family members who had children too. We had a princess over here, but unfortunately, she was killed. She did have many children. They do not belong to my house. No, they do not. Look at that. Even a prince too. The Prince of Galilee. He's also local. What about you? Wait, you married, my niece married, the King of Jerusalem. That's interesting. All right. Isabel is still the primary heir. She's 29. Here's a mayor over here of my house too. She's had two children. Beyond that, we've got Stephanie who died at 40 of unknown causes. Oh, we know. Interesting headpiece, buddy. I mean, your whole head, it's quite interesting. So he's over here too. We're not very close, however. So we don't need to worry about them. Then, more importantly, there's my line. I'm right over here, Duke Billion. Now, Count Guy is not my friend, but he's going to remain here because he's a valuable commander and fighter. He's done well. Unfortunately for him, I did find out that many of his children died in a siege. Look at that, 12 years old, 14 years old, and five. He has only two children remaining. I really do pity them. I feel bad for them. Hopefully some children will live on. He's got a beautiful daughter over here. You're gonna marry someone far, far away. What a waste. If only I had more control over who he was going to marry, that would have been much better for him and potentially everyone else. When it comes to my council, Barricade is still working. He's working on getting us more control, which is what we need right now. We don't need to worry about plots. We don't really plot here. We do have some epidemics moving around. If you see the white over here on the map, that means there's an epidemic. And we have someone who's working for us who's quite new. I do need to fix their name, however. Hold on, let's come over here. I remember I got one A wrong. There we go. She's Welsh. And she's my new chancellor. 
We'll find her someone to marry in time. In fact, my own daughters need to marry right over here. Now, when it comes to military pursuits, let's truly consider what we should do. Now, you were married, or your mother was my niece. But still, your land, I do need them. Acre should not belong to you, but to me. It's a wealthy area that I could use. And so we're going to try to conquer up here because we need to help out Jerusalem. To do that, we need more power. And I do like Stephanie quite a bit. How are you 55? Do you do a lot of Pilates? Like, I don't know, holy Pilates? Because you look great. Or did you take all the beauty away from your children? Because dear God, she is horrendous and a fornicator. Well, maybe she like accidentally walked into a room with that big old head of hers and just kind of copulated with another person. It was an accident, okay? It's not her fault. We have a war to fight. And over here, I have many people who are now going to be married. Including my own children. Not all of them, but some of them. I'm marrying them off to really the only people we can engage with, which is the Byzantine Empire. We'll see in time what they're able to do. Oh, right. I'm sure a few of you might be curious. But I did pick out a Dynasty Tree perk. Now, because my son is quite young he's a child a toddler there's something i did pick up i mean have a look at him over here he's only four all right he's quite young and so for my legacy i picked up glory desirable match that way it'll be easier to get better alliances and marriages for my children early on now with that said later on i will pick up noble veins because we've got to create the Uber Crusader. Someone who's able to smite all of God's foes in one blow. Let's come over here. Raise all here. I've got to. There. I've got all of my men together. Count Guy, if you want to handle that, you can. But I'm a better besieger. One day I'll get my catapults or whatever I need. Let's come over here real quick. We could take their capital, but let's go after Acre right now and besiege it. There. So, let's have a look real quick while that war is going on. Theodora is going to marry a young man who has some power. He's a twin, too, and he comes from a very powerful house right over here. Well, it's meant to be very powerful. It's no longer very powerful, evidently, but he is a duke, so that is still more power than what we have right now. I'm a duke, too, but look at that, 2,100 men. Now, let's go back down. Maria is going to marry another powerful young man. Now, he's Herculean. I did choose him for that. He's the child of a duke. He has many siblings, too, so working that out wasn't too hard. He's only 16, but has 18 prowess. I thought that would be ideal, because, again, we want to ensure that we're able to handle our enemies just okay. Now, I could call some allies to war. You've got 100 men. That's not a lot. What about you, duke? Sure. I'm going to call in help because I don't have the manpower to actually besiege even their one town over here. It's got a fort level of 16. It's incredibly hard to take. So I've got to do what I can. If they want to fight, so be it. But we need to wait for them to get over here right now. Otherwise, there's nothing that we can do. Ah, the assassin. How are you doing, my friend? 35 years old. It's so cool to see him in here. One day, are we going to play some? Absolutely. I can't wait. I'm actually really excited about that. The Grand Master, he's over here. It would be cool to have some events with the Templars as well. I know that kind of like goes off the beaten path for Kingdom of Heaven, but it's what I would personally love to see, and I would come back for it over and over and over. Good job. Okay, Barricat has served us for a very long time. Now we just need a bit more control. I would like to finish up my siege. I should be able to. The pressure is here, the pressure is evident, but if we're able to do that, then we'll be able to move down just a little bit to potentially fight a few more enemies, and I think that'll be awesome. Okay, we'll get 16 in loot. They have only one fort level. That's why I like what they've done in the mod, where they've changed things up quite a bit. You actually have strategically valuable areas that are already built up. What's over here, Beatrice? I've got to train you, I've got to. So I'm going to. Let's fight. There. Her prowess went up by three. 
eventually I'm gonna choose a sword master again keep in mind we do train up the women here because we don't have the manpower to do it alone we need everyone together so what am I gonna do over here I would like to befriend people I'll get groomed to rule later on I'm trying to help out my children but I would like to befriend people now if I can I'll try to do it I don't want to but I'll try to do it I'll try to get Count Guy to become my friend now that is a task fighting Saladin okay him becoming my friend I don't know about that well let's come over here now we've got to go beat them I'm the commander but I'm gonna choose him He's a better commander than I am when it comes to field battles. We've got over here skirmishers, light horsemen. Now we're fighting a battle and we're gonna win. Sanrisho, remember how we captured him? We got him to join us. Well, the war is over, so I didn't need allies. That's really good. I don't want to draw it out. It was quite easy to take over. And now I have a new county. Not a duchy, but a county. That gives me more men and I do have allies too who are able to help me out. I lost only 40 in that battle, the slaughter at Evelyn. Now, Count Guy killed 39. He is still a monster of war. Sanrisho is doing quite well. My custom companions over here, like Zenobi, Falco, they're doing well, but that's just how powerful our knights are. I have built up a core of knights that just really go beyond the spectrum. Okay, so now he still does have a lot of land. But I can't go after him again. Not yet. I have to wait until he dies or our truce expires. But there are other lands I could go after. Like over here. The Grand City. I would like to have control of that. I could go after Stephanie's land. She does have an heir over here that I'm not a huge fan of. But we'll see how that plays out. Because one day I would like to go up north and retake what was taken from us. Antioch was taken from us. And so one day, we've got to take it. Now, if I ever want to take these blasted castles, like Nimrod Castle, like Nimrod the Great Hunter. Now, it was used in a more sarcastic manner by Bugs Bunny when he would call Elmer Fudd, oh, what a great Nimrod. We've taken that term to mean what an idiot now, but Nimrod was a great hunter. And so he was just mocking the supposed great skills of Elmer Fudd. Anyway, that's your surreal lesson for the day. I'm sure some of you knew that, but I just wanted to share that about the word Nimrod. Yeah, we can't go after these. Look at that fort level, 22. There's no way. I would need like over 10,000 men. I would need to upgrade a lot of what I have right now. Now, I do have more money coming in, and that's awesome. Actually, that's a game changer. That changes up everything for me. Now that I'm making so much more money, we can do so much more. Acre is very wealthy. Have a look at that. It's got a Silk Road trading post. That's a lot of trade value. More development growth there is a mod that adds in the silk road that was such an important road such an important trade route it impacted so many nations kingdoms and all of that well i should say kingdoms not nations that term wouldn't really be applicable just yet but over here we have control that we need to increase lackluster administration we've got to work on that the population is quite high we do have a mayor over here one day i might try to get a different mayor but he's actually pretty talented at being silver-tongued. Gross. I don't want to know about that. All right. When it comes to events, I would like to invite over a few new knights. I'm constantly trying to get over a few new knights. It's what I do. Perfect. Now, I would also like to go on a hunt. My stress is not there, but I'll do it anyway. Because I like to hunt. I can't wait for my daughter to be married. Only a few more years to go. A rude vassal. Excuse me, young man. Do not do that. Count Guy. <laughs> Nor you. Let's see here. He'll be angry. I'll gain plus one to diplomacy. Every time, he's so rude. Theodora. My daughter. Oh, look at that. She's a great eminence. She's quite educated. And doesn't she look spunky? She's got some attitude there. She's like, I know what's what. I think it might be her brow game. Oh, yeah. Those are arched. <laughs> She's definitely going to probably be in control of that marriage just look at her i'm so proud of her though let's see look at that my wife and soulmate who has barely aged she's 47 she looks incredible good for me by the way they do grow up fast all right so there's my child saladin are you doing okay probably ranulf you're a saint 25 you barely did anything yeah he's currently 63 
He's winning like all of his wars right now. Holy crap. Dude, can you be beaten? Look at how much power he's gained. He's conquered even more land since Socotra. Oh, the Isle of Socotra. They're actually conquering a lot of land over here. Have a look at that. They're gaining power. I've not seen that before. Usually they're conquered. It's been such a unique campaign. The Mongol Empire, let's see, they're expanding outwards. They're getting closer. They're not quite here yet. The Holy Roman Empire, you are so wealthy. You're fighting multiple wars. France, you've got 5,000 men. You're going to marry a princess of England. What about your heir? Also of England. Are you kidding me? Wait, look at that power block. That means England, France, and the Holy Roman Empire are going to be allied. At least France and the Holy Roman Empire will be connected to England. That is so good. And look at Richard, Richard the Lionheart. You crazy sodomite, you. He's fighting so many different powers alone. He conquered Wales. And Scotland's going after Norway right now. Trying to retake some lands. I just can't believe what's happening. Portugal, you're going on. Yeah. Sicily, what are you doing? You've conquered a lot too. Fascinating. You're also fighting Portugal as well. Yeah, you do have lands over there. You're losing many, many wars. Now what's over here? You want to call me to war? Very well. Peasants are beating you. Now there is a new knight over here. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have you marry someone who's not lowborn because you would say no, because they are lowborn. You could marry Tilly. Perfect. He does need an heir. There. Now she's going to be in my court and I won't have to pay for her. I've got 21 gold right now. Count Guy, if you would like to lead our army, I'll allow you to do that. Over 2,000 men. Do we need 2,000 men? Probably not. 1,200 should do. That'll be a bit cheaper. Yeah, all of you go home. 12 gold. That could have been 20 or more gold if I had all of my men together. We don't need that many. We're only fighting peasants and Count Guy. While he is my rival, I do acknowledge his talents. I would be a fool to not do that. Let's come over here. Oh, you died in my prison. What a shame. I actually forgot he was in my prison. Okay. I've got to train my daughters. Perfect. Look at that. Maria too. She's going to have more prowess, so we'll come over here real quick. Let's go beat that army. It won't be difficult. We're able to do it. There. The Battle of Abydos. They're losing it. One knight has been wounded, but he's going to be all right. Their leader was wounded, too. We did have our penalty. I normally don't fight so soon, but I knew that we could win without much issue. We lost only 85 men. Yeah, only 85. My knights killed over 500 in that battle. Count Guy is not only leading the army, he's out there fighting too. He killed 75 men. Zenobi, 50. Falco, 47. Barricat, 41. They all did so well. Good job to all of you. Now, let's go home. I saved a lot of money, though, again, I'm currently making a lot of money. That war is over. We did help out our ally. He's going to feel great about that. He's going to love me, potentially. Oh, yeah. They were really beating him. That alliance did benefit him a little bit more than me. Ending strife. It is never a good sign when a liege is at odds with his own vassals. Thanks to my diplomatic efforts, I was able to settle the disagreements I had with Count Guy. With luck, we will be able to learn to trust each other more as we move forward. For now, I am just glad to not consider him as an enemy any longer. So now, we're no longer rivals. Incredible. We're doing better together. Okay, first off, I've got a few issues over here. The King of Sicily is evidently a beautiful cannibal. That's terrifying, by the way. He's over here with a lot of power. He's right by the Pope, too. He's quite lusty. He's a bit cruel, but brave as well. Over here, we have the Papacy. Now, he's got a hook on me because I did request a new priest. We've got Richard. Richard has a lot of talent, a lot of learning. Now, he's gotten from me a brand new claim. Tripoli shall be mine. 
119 gold, but I want that. So now, if we want to, we'll be able to conquer up here. I think it's a really good idea. He's in debt. I'm not in debt. If we beat him now, oh, we could do so much. Now, what else do I want over here? I could use a few new friends. Groom to rule for my children. We'll take that right now. I'm getting more prestige. I've got a lot, but I do want even more. Have a look at that. Balian, good job. Now, here's what I did for Balian. Look at who he's going to marry. The daughter of Isabel, who is likely to become the queen of Jerusalem. I thought that would be a very good idea. She's had only one child, so she's going to be able to marry my son and heir. Now, let's come over here and get our army together. Then we're marching for Tripoli. We're on our way right now. If we have a look over here, we've got some incredible knights. They're very powerful, 100 damage, and they would do well to fight out over here in the desert. See, plains, desert, dry lands, oasis, even floodplains. Oh, that's really good. So they have more advantages than standard armored horsemen. I might get rid of my light horsemen later. I could afford another group, but I do want my siege equipment. I've got to have it. But now, off we go. Count Guy is not leading, I want him to fight. I'm here to lead today. I've probably got only a few good fighting gears left. There. Oh, our advantage is quite high too. 31 in my favor. That's incredibly good. So, who are you, 18? I don't want to kill him. I'm not here to kill him. But we do need to fight. Strike, parry, riposte. You know my process over here. Let's go on. All right, let's have a look again. I wonder, could I disarm him? Strike, parry, riposte again. Victory for me, I am victorious. No, I'm not here to kill you. You're 38, you're pretty talented. He's in my prison now. Eventually, I'm gonna have him join me. House arrest. Sure. I don't want you to die. We did it. Now we only need to besiege. However, look at that. The fort level is by far too high. I lost only 35 men. That's incredible. They were butchered. Yeah, their knights are not very good. I caught their best knight. And he's gonna work for me now. Wonderful. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do then. I'm gonna call in my allies. I've got them here for a reason. The Dukes of the Byzantine Empire shall help me out, and hopefully we'll gain more power because of it. Fort level over here is only three. Maybe I could take that one. Barricade, who hates you, by the way? Oh, you do. You're married to Pavlos. We've got to watch out for that, I think. But here they come now. I've got 94 gold. Oh, the Byzantine Empire, they're in trouble. That's really interesting. They're not doing well. They're falling apart. The Holy Roman Empire, they continue to do well. The cannibal king of Sicily does concern me. He's way too handsome. And evil. What a villain. What a great villain. All right, so we're currently besieging. We're still waiting. Who's over here? The army of Kanya. Sword training. You know what you've got to do. It might be a drawn out war because we've got to besiege, but I'll do what I can. Now what I could do as well, I could just get my siege equipment right away. I've got to, I think. We'll let it build up. Then we'll bring it over to my main army. My light horsemen, I could get rid of them now and save up for my armored horsemen, but we'll wait for when the war is over. Yeah, see, they're slowly growing in size. So we've got to wait, but we did win the battle. Now it's only time for a long drawn out siege, or maybe it won't be too long. We'll find out very soon. I'll get some loot too. Let's speed up a little bit. I've got one area under my control. That brings me closer to Altair, the assassin. If I could conquer his fortresses, oh, that would be so cool. They're incredibly hard to take. They're a very powerful faction. Okay, we're conquering more lands. What about... Aha, we do have them. Okay, let's bring them up now. All 10 of them. 
We'll bring them over here. We've got that area. 27 gold. Oh, I did lose a few men, but that's okay. You died in my prison. What a shame. I didn't want you to. I'm not trying to kill people. No, that would destroy my army. I suppose we can't do that. I didn't know that it was going to lock me out. I think it's because of the capital. I wonder if I could, like, go around. Could I, like, just come over here and then land there? Yeah, perfect. Okay. I only had to go around. Now I know. All in time. What's over here? You want to be patient, my daughter. Be patient. You should. All right, perfect. So now we've got some help over here. I don't know what my allies are doing, but hopefully they'll be here soon. And here I am. It's going to take me some time. Who got away? Ah, the Baron got away. Curse you, I say. That's all right, though. I'm not going to give away an entire duchy. And what's over here? A lesson on valor. If I do that, though, I'll gain too much stress. I'll let you do what you need to. Ah, look at that. My daughter is married now. She's 19. And she's married now. Good for her. We'll check on that later on. I could go on a new hunt. I should. I've got the money. I'll do it right now. You two can be married. Oh yeah, Gwen, my chancellor. Look at her go. Now, he's got a robust trait. She's very good when it comes to diplomacy. That's why she's my chancellor. She's very talented. Injured. I'll tend to him. Sure. I'll treat you. And now we're back. I wanted that hunter trait, but I don't have it yet, unfortunately. What's over here? Look at that. A prince likes me more from the Arabian Empire. Muhammad of Egypt over here is your leader. Ooh, a giant of a man. That's why she's good. She's really good. <gasps> he finally died. It finally happened. He died of natural causes at 43, but he did live for a very long time. That's incredible. Goodbye, my friend. He did so well. And now we have our queen, who's right over here. Have a look at that. Your husband has claims on the Byzantine Empire. That's really interesting. I did raise you. We do get along well. Evidently, I don't really care for her too much, but I wonder if one day she'll give me a proper seat on the council. Let's have a look over here. She hasn't picked out people yet. Well, hopefully she'll pick me out. Yeah, there we go. Have a look at that. I'm a steward now. Let's have a look at the benefits for being a steward. I get more money. A lot more money. My buildings are cheaper. Speaking of, I've got to build a few new buildings. I'll wait until I have 200 gold, but... Come on now, let's end that war if we can. We did it. My allies did not help out. A new law. Oh no, high crown authority. We lose more stuff. Speaking of... I'm going to have limited crown authority. Let's do that now. Yeah, we've got to have a bit more control over our many, many vassals. Okay, so now that we've won, it took me two years. That's okay. We own even more territory within the kingdom. However, I might not be able to attack people. Let me have a look over here. I can't remember exactly, but let's see. Maybe we'll be okay. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Ah, here we go. Ah, see, now I need a hook. So I can't just gain more lands easily like I did. That was probably my last war. Oh, come on, Isabel. At least against other subjects here. If only that law could be brought down because we're so close to having another duchy, but we do have most of one over here. I wonder if I could take away his final territory. That would be awesome. I would love to be able to do that. Now, hold on. Let's come over here. We're not friends yet. I wonder if I could try again. No, I can't do it again. I could try to sway him. I'll do that. I think I'll try to befriend the queen. We should do that. If I was a evil man, I could have seduced her a long time ago, but I chose not to because evidently the ladies love Balian. They're like, oh, he's sensitive. He's a good sword master. Saladin is currently 67. He's still alive. The Byzantine Empire is falling apart right now. Oh, dear God. They're losing two wars. They're in debt. Oh, no. Who did you shag? Was it your mother? Okay, no, it wasn't your mother. Who did you shag? What about you? 
Are you two related? Huh. No, not his siblings. I have no idea. I do wonder. He's got three living members. The old duke is really not worried about marriages over here. We can have another matrilineal marriage into his line, which is going to guarantee that we're going to have some lands over here. I do like that idea. Go on, my daughter. You'll be married in time. What about you? You're doing fine. Your future wife is currently three. You're eight years old. We don't have any wars to fight right now. Not yet. Over here. Look at who wants power. Count Guy is back to his old mischief, but he's by far way too weak in comparison to me to do anything about it. Now, Raymond and Guy could work together, but they're ambitious men. And so over here, Raymond would like his duchy back. I won't let him have it. He's got a pretty good contract. He's not doing too well when it comes to power. Here's another vassal of mine. In time, I'll probably want all of their titles. Yeah, I can't do it yet. That would be tyrannical. So I don't want to do that yet. Now, we have a look over here. It looks like people want my son to become the king. That's really interesting. She's choosing her daughter, but people are choosing my son. We do have more control over here. That's interesting. They don't all love me, but even my enemy wants my son to rule. Huh, that's really interesting. Thank you, Raymond. I appreciate that. He's like, yeah, I just hate your dad a lot. A lot. Which is fair and fine. My doctor is currently 40. I think I would like for him to be married. We'll find someone for him to marry because I like him a lot. Not my daughter, okay? Not my daughter. We'll find you someone who's decent in some way one day. What about someone who's quite well read? She's 28. There. Now you're married. Do your life do well? And we just need to bide our time for the moment. The Byzantine Empire is still falling apart. I mean, have a look at that war. It is not going well for them. There's no new crusade yet. All right, very good. Every single daughter of mine has a matrilineal marriage. I did that intentionally, and hopefully it means our house will only grow and thrive. Oh, look. That faction is gone now. Interesting. Well, I do like that. I wonder, is he okay? Did he die? No, he's okay. He's no longer trying to fight me. Oh, it's back. Okay, well, never mind. He's like, I'm a bit indecisive. I'll do what I want. Yeah, so we'll have to wait and see what we'll be able to do about him because, well, he hates me. What's over here? A new perk again. Okay. Close family opinion. That could be okay. What else do we have? We've got Thoughtful, which is also pretty decent. Fellow Vassal Opinion. That's a good one. No, that's a really good one. I've got to pick it up. Later, I'm going to focus on my health, but not yet. I'm feeling fine. I'm a legendary Blade Master. I'm living healthy. I should be okay. I think I'll be okay. Don't worry about it. Now, let's have a party. It's been a very long time. We should probably have a party. Then I'm going to work on my military. Then finally my lands again. All right, waiting to start. Here we go. A few people did not show up like Count Guy, Raymond, and over here, my daughter. Hey, come on now. She's probably tired of hearing me prattle on. Very well. Disaster strikes. I do not have the money. Darn. I wish I did. I'm so close to it too. We've all got to pitch in. That gave me more money. You're on your own for now, my boy. And what's over here? You would like to be my friend? Good, I've got a new friend now. All right, here's my other daughter, she's here. Yeah, let's become friends too. I want more friends. They're all leaving and now I'm one eager reveler. Look at that, more diplomacy, more intrigue. I like other people who like to revel as well. And we do have over 200 gold, so here's what we're gonna do right now. We're going to get rid of our light horsemen. I don't want light horsemen. Instead, I want our proper knights. Yeah, they're dressed in Frankish style armor and all that. Ooh, mounted Palestinian camels too. I like that even more. No wonder they do so well. Cool, so we'll have 50 early on. Sword training, let's fight. The training continues again. 
I've been teaching him. I've been trying to teach the kids too. I wish I could be notified of whenever they need a good teacher because I would find a teacher for everyone. So now that we have money, now that we have peace, we fought so many wars, we should probably work on our lands over here too. We don't have what we need yet to get a good duchy building, which is really a shame because I really do want one. I wonder, can we actually upgrade our castle? We cannot. We need battlements. Okay, Acre, you've got plenty. You've been upgraded too. What else do we need? We could get more levies or more money. I've got many options over here, but it's only point two. So why don't we pick up more levies like barracks? Sure, we can do that. I just want a few more soldiers out there. My wife found for me 120 gold. Uh oh, you're creating your own faction against the queen. I'm not going to let her fall. No, I can't do that. All right. Let's try to get him to like me more. I'm going to be subtle. Good. Now he's beginning to like me. I can't send him a gift yet. I would need a lot of money for that. Who's over here? Oh, right. Pavlos. You're going to marry into Count Guy's line. She's lovely, by the way. Sure. Well, look at that, Pavlos. A child of Sophia. You've grown up. You're kind of educated. You're not the best, but you do have 18 learning. That would make him a decent teacher for other learning-based students, I suppose. All right, boy. We're not done training you. I think I would like to find a swordmaster, too. Let's have a look over here real quick. All right. It can't be me. Sanrisho, I suppose it could be you. 100 gold or whatever, right? Yeah. No, 50 gold. Even better. That's a bit cheaper. So now he's my blade master. My court blade master. What's over here? Cynical, just, or temperate? You could be just like me. What about temperate? That would give you a boost. Be a bit different from me, okay? My stress did go up, unfortunately. I've been trying to avoid that, but too bad. I'm gonna bite my lip and just try to persevere. So what can we do about that? We'll go on a hunt. I like to hunt until so we're back down now. Oh, interesting. Huh. All right. Hunt encounter. Another Shrek again. All right, Shrek, if you want to join me, come join me. I'll invite him to my court. Now he's a member of my court and may fight for me. I'm back home now. That was my hunt. My hunt went quite well. I don't want to invite over new knights. And who's fighting over here? Oh my God. Your army is huge, by the way. Wait, did Stephanie die? Oh, she died. Yeah, 58. I didn't know she died. Okay, my steward found for me 75 gold. So you're alive over here. You've got 1,200. I would like to befriend you, if possible. It's not because I'm still trying to sway Count Guy. And, oh, hold on. We have an option. We have more lands we could take. Now they've got some power, but they're still fighting another war. A Pontic claim, huh? The Byzantine Empire is only fighting one war right now. They're doing well. So they were able to hold on, I think, largely, but they were weakened. Okay, I know what I want to do then. I've got the money. Are my knights ready, by the way? They are ready. I'm not going to upgrade them in size just yet. I'm going to do that eventually. But here's Cyprus over here. That's what I want. A holy war. It won't be easy. I would need maybe one more ally. I could wait for my perks. I do have a lot of stress, so again, I've got to watch out for that. I suppose we could hold on and wait until we have more money for mercenaries. That could do it. Unfortunately, I did find out that Raymond over here has a contract that requires his position to be guaranteed on my council. So he's my marshal. Thankfully, he's not too bad, but I don't want him here. Go help him out. Yeah, go do that for me. All right, my wife is only 53. She's helping me out when it comes to stewardship. Help me out when it comes to everything. There. Now I get a general buff. Her skills are so high that it only works out for me. I could use more claims around me too. It's an idea. I am thinking about it. A holy war would be difficult, but I've got some more money now. So why don't we do that right over here? It's right by me. I'm going to get my soldiers together. I do wonder how much do you have right now? You've got a few men. I could call in allies and maybe 
they would actually help me out for once. <laughs> no, they're pretty far away. I think it's just really rather difficult to get over here. But I've got my soldiers. Count Guy, you are leading. I'm very good, but you're better at field battles. Now, my daughter, she's really good, too, at 30. She's a great commander, but we don't need her to command right now. Let's come over here and take over. I've got my knights. It's 25 gold. I could also, I suppose, hire some mercenaries just in case. But wait, actually, no, 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 we don't even need that. We've got over here a holy order. That's a bit cheaper, I suppose, over 5,000 men. Okay, Grandmaster, you're a great commander. Come over here. So now I've got plenty of soldiers. 79 gold is a lot. Let's combine up. All right. Now we'll probably want to break apart anyway. I think we've got to just because it's a rather large army. So you'll come over here. My other army will go over there. And off we go now. Now we do have holy orders and I should probably use all of them whenever I can. All right, there. See, now they're trying to get over here. Let's see, you can't find any secrets. Go on, try again. I'm trying to find secrets over in Tripoli. I've got to, I can't stand Raymond. All right, development has gone up in my capital. That's very good. Are they coming to my capital? I don't believe so. Count Guy likes me more. Before befriending him, I should have tried to sway him. Ah, here we go. A guardian for you. Let's see, bossy. Stewardship, huh? My wife can teach you. I like to educate all the children in my court because, man, it makes a huge difference when you need educated people. My allies are here. Okay, the siege is going on. Interesting, I'm diligent. I could learn more. Did I win already? <laughs> no, I'm close to it. So now we're besieging again. I don't need to go back home. It's pretty funny because we actually haven't needed help. Uh-oh. I could get rid of him right now, but hopefully he'll just have treatment and be okay. But now we might even take over some new lands. We're expanding the kingdom. Saladin has been quite busy lately. He's old now. He's currently 69. He's not doing well with his health, but he's been expanding nonstop. Socotra has also expanded. Wow. They have the horn. All right. We'll check on what's going on in the world later. I get so interested. Yeah, they're over here also fighting another war, so I do believe they're quite busy at the moment. Okay, hold on. I'm going to give to you my mangonels. And losing a bit of prestige like that is really not a big deal. I've got so much. It's also hard to know what might happen in a war, so... There. Here we go. Now I'm able to have more alliances. I don't need a marriage for it. But not too many people want to ally me right now who are actually worthwhile. Alright, we are nearly done. My income is doing fine. Uh-oh, someone wants a map. Let's be more vigilant. Speaking of, come back home now. You've got to, Katarina. All right. Back we go to Famagusta. Uh-oh. You've gained smallpox, too. It's beginning to spread. I should really kick him out. I'm being by far too compassionate. All right, only a few more days to go. It's over. We got that area. So now they're losing it. Here's what we're able to do now. We can actually sell over here and maybe go after their capital. I'll have to divide up again. I'm losing some money, but I still do have a lot of money, so it's not too bad, I think. Not at all. Let's go over here now. Evidently, not all of my marriages for my daughters were matrilineal, but that's okay. It's a nice bonus, but it's really not required. Though, I probably should have chosen for you a better man. Yeah. He's one evil antagonist. He's got one rival. He's got a friend, too. A very powerful man over in Georgia. Interesting. And he's provided two grandchildren for me. Have a look at that. I'll have to watch over them no matter what. Now, over here, the Templars have all of their levies in one large group, which means I can't divide them up. So Count Guy is going to wait over here in Cyprus. We want to deter their armies from retaking the lands we've conquered. And over here, Balian is going to besiege what he's able to. We've got some smallpox, but hopefully that'll go away very soon. There we go. Wait, who's a killer? You are. Or you wanted to kill someone. I can't let you stay here. You've got to go away. I could blackmail you, but no, I think you just need to leave. Wait, who are you teaching? That child. 
All right. Yeah, you've got to go, I think. I don't want any killers here. Be gone. All right. So we're back over here now. Lesson on Valor. I'll get more stressed out, but he's my boy. He resisted my lessons, unfortunately. So he didn't gain anything at all, but it was worth a shot. I've got to make sacrifices for my child. And let's see. Alexios, he finally died. Yeah, he was pretty old too. My daughter is a skilled tactician. Level three education, which is fine. Here we go, a matrilineal marriage. I'll try to be a little bit more careful. You've got so many siblings too. Uh-oh, she's pregnant again. That could change up a lot. We'll see, though. All right. Continue besieging. Saladin died. 70 years old. He did live for a long time. We'll watch over his son over here. But he's finally gone. He didn't die in battle. He died at 70 years of age. That's a long life. Now, I've got money. I need to spend a bit of it. Watchtowers, do I want that? Not really. Instead... A trade port would be better. We could use more development over there. Well, very good. We now have that sphere, which I believe gives us what? 20 to 25% more speed whenever we're crossing overseas. That's really good. A saint in heaven. Another one. There's a lot of saints over there. A new alliance, huh? Well, I'm not too worried about him. Yeah, you've only got 1,200 men. If you want to join in, do so. Hopefully, we're going to win soon. Come on. I'm going to take over your capital. And it's over. We did it. I've got to learn more. Right over here. All because I'm diligent. My stress will go down, too. Nice. Perfect. Okay, the war is over. It's been two years of fighting, but we finally did it. Everyone is going home. And we've got so much more land. It'll take time, but in time, they'll like me more. I can't wait to get my duchy buildings. And we're not quite there just yet. All right. So, now that we've done that, we've got to really think about future campaigns. There are other bits of land I could take. The Grandmaster over here is still by far too powerful. 12,000 men. We can't beat that. And have a look at that. They've got crossbowmen. Crossbowmen are so powerful. They could easily break us apart. Yeah, I'll have to build up. I think right now, their order is going to be our primary enemy. Loyalty or fear? I'm very kind. I'll lose some money, but they'll all like me more. That's probably a good idea if we want to keep the peace here. Let's have a look at Jerusalem, okay? You're 38. You've had another daughter, Marie. Wonderful. All right. So you didn't have a son. And you are linked to my family too. Yeah, your half-brother, my son over here. He's your primary heir. That's really good. He's doing very well too. His traits are good, brave, temperate, just. What a good kid, right? He only needs a very good education. Now, we've got to really consider what we should do next. We've done so much. I'll never become king, but that's okay. My son may become king. The Mongol Empire has grown. Whoa, Kumania has been conquered. Have a look at what he's done. Timuchen is coming. We wouldn't be able to beat him. There are a few roadblocks over here. Maybe he'll die of old age or something before he gets over here, but I have no idea. Oh, they're growing in power too. Nice. Now, let's have a look around. England has conquered most of Ireland. He's got 14,000 men. That's incredible. Scotland, you've conquered some land. Good for you. The Holy Roman Empire. I can't believe you're 42. So many years have passed on. He's got so many children. That's wild to me. Now, France, what about you? You like to beat yourself. You're a genius, too. You've had two children. Yeah, they're all allied. You're allied to England. And you are allied to England. Portugal, you've conquered a lot of land. Castile? Yeah, they're actually reclaiming all of Iberia. 
the Arabian Empire, they're still quite large. He's got one ally right now, not a major one. It's all internal too. Socotra has conquered a lot. We'll check on them later on, but that's really interesting. I've never seen that happen before. So, we are still surrounded by the Arabian Empire. They have not broken up, but there are plays for power that we can make. What about the Cannibal King? Oh, he's over here in Africa. Interesting. He's got money. Yeah, at least income, I mean. His current treasury is actually in the pits right now, but I think they're building up like a bunch of buildings or something, but they do have a positive income. He's only 27. He's got one child right now. He's allied to England. Oh, you're married over into his line too. So England, led by Richard, is a powerhouse. He's allied to the most powerful Western powers over here in Europe. The papacy, let's see, they're doing fine. He's 74. You've got one living brother, really, a count related to the Pope. That's interesting. Here's Serbia. The Byzantine Empire is constantly fighting. They're not going to be here forever. One day, I think they might fall. We do have some claims we could press one day if we wanted to. We've got options. Yeah. If I did that, my daughter Beatrice would be married to an emperor. And their children they have would be from my line. I do like that idea. That would keep us safe. My one ally, well, he's Greek. I can't believe you're still alive. 69. Interesting. But if I had other allies, and hopefully I'll have more as we go along, then I could do that. I could give my daughter power and, by proxy, give her house power too. But that's it for now, everyone. That's my overview of what's happening. We'll have a brief look over here at my house. I've got eight living members. Wonderful. Maria, you've had two children, so I've got two grandchildren. Theodora, you've had no children. Hopefully one day you'll have more children. My other daughter is about to come of age. We're getting a lot of renown. Now, what about my named characters? Gwen, you've had only your one daughter. You're married over to my spy master's kid. He's 21. And he's not really good at anything, but he's robust. Yeah. Zenobi? You've had four children total. Your previous wife? Yeah, well, she's gone. Let's see here. I haven't been able to give out any land yet, but their lines are doing well. He's got 24 prowess. He's getting older. He's got two sons. Falco, you've had two children. Sophia is getting older now. She's currently 37. She's had three children. Pavlos, you're married over into the line of Count Guy. You've had one child right now. Okay, those are our characters. We'll see future ones come and go. And there's Altair. Oh no, you cheated on your wife. You've had many children, one died. Oh, she was ill. Okay, at 22, interesting. She was pregnant too, and a fornicator. Not good, but he's around still. Yeah, he's still quite young, much younger than me. Count Guy is only 50. He's still by far, I believe, my most powerful warrior, which is crazy. What about your son? He's married. Your daughter is married over to Pavlos. Then we have Queen Isabel. She's had one child. It's not very likely that she'll have another. She has many claims over here. We should try to become friends. She won't ally me. I'm a claimant. Or she's a claimant. Yeah. I'll have to watch out. Oh! I could actually get a claim on her kingdom. I'm just kind of like clicking around to see what I can do, but that's everything so far. Okay, until then.